Hi, my name is Jessica Drake and I wanted to do a little tutorial real quick about how to create a realistic looking sweat overlay. Um, if you cannot add sweat, this is what it looks like. We'll just zoom in here a little bit. You can see, make her look a little bit more like she's got a light sheen of sweat on her body and that uh, she's actually wet in the image. The final image is here. A little bit more edits. But for this, we're just going to show how I got this selection and edit um, for adding a wet, sweaty look when you cannot get clothing wet. For instance, um, I originally shot this for a magazine and uh, I did all the editing and I sent it to my editor and she said that the skin looked like they had a condition and that I uh, added a little bit of too much. Um, it looked, I tried to do more like a raindrop effect to get like drops of sweat, but that did not look good. So <laughs> this is what I came up with after looking at some drawing tutorials and seeing how they created the sweat, um, a sweat-like texture into their images. They used a really noisy uh, brush. Um, and that's kind of the secret is that real noise uh, edges and um, really spotty actually because the softer the um, the softer the transition from shadow to light the more soft it looks the more dry it looks so when you have a really spotty uh, highlight it gives that illusion of sweat and sheen so here we go so I'm gonna turn that off just to show you here um, and then we'll zoom in a little bit what I do is make sure you're on your background layer and we're gonna go to select and select a color range and we're going to select our highlights. You can see up here that it's selecting these highlights and you can see exactly where I got those highlights in my other image to find the sweat highlights for her face and arms. What I'm going to do is get right here. Actually, I'm just going to add a larger range because I want just about right there. You can see this really spotty, but I want no, a lot less fuzziness. Because the fuzziness gives you a smooth transition and the less fuzziness, it gives you a lot more of that. Um, actually, let's show you that way. Give you a better idea. So, probably say about hmm, here is what I want. You get a really spotty texture selection. So now I just have a selection there. I'm going to add a layer over top. I'm going to use a white brush. Just getting my default set. I'm only going to use my brush in the area that I've select that I want to color. I'm not worried about these other areas right now because I'm not gonna uh, use this selection for those areas. So I make different selections per each space that I want to add the highlight. So my brush right now is set really low. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit so you can see how I'm coloring this highlight right here. 
and it's giving me that little just those white highlights on the belly. So that looks too harsh. It doesn't look actual realistic. So I'm actually going to turn it into a hard light and turn my opacity down just a little bit. So that's it. It's super easy and just a quick little selection thing. I really love how easy it is. You can change your uh, intensity really easily with your opacity and you can color more with the white. You can do a lot of experimenting with this and just seeing how you want to create that highlight. Um, let me know next time what kind of tutorials you might want. My friend Natalie really wants me to do some skin retouching. I don't really do high-end retouching. Um, you should check out Petit Nyack for that. He's amazing. Um, I do more of like a, it's not going to be like a high-end beauty, but it's good enough to put on the internet. Like it's not going to be... Uh, you want to print this large and show the whole world everybody's pores. Um, it's going to be, you still get some skin texture, but it's definitely still skin softening. It's not your uh, completely keep every pore intact, make a, create a, an incredible artistic skin extravaganza. It's much more going to be like an overview. But. Anyways, uh, leave some comments. Let me know what kind of information you guys would like. Um, and any questions about other photo shoots that I've done or any kind of information you want to ask me. Um, and I look forward to hopefully doing a lot more tutorials for you.